Before you start the enrollment of iPad or iOS devices to Microsoft Intune, you need to complete few prerequisites to prepare the infrastructure so that these devices can be enrolled and registered to the Entra ID. If I take you to the Intune portal, you will notice that there is no iOS or iPad OS device enrolled here. If I take you to the Entra portal, under the Entra portal also you see all devices and there are only few Windows devices that have been registered or joined to this Entra ID. I can go to the device settings and show you that whether the users in this Entra tenant are allowed to register their devices and whether it will require a multi-factor authentication or not. Well, those are some Entra ID configuration settings you have seen. Let us go to the enrollment and under the enrollment for these devices, you see these settings are there for Windows like automatic enrollment, CNAME validation, co-management and all. We are concerned about Apple devices to enroll. So we have the prerequisites to complete, which is Apple MDM push certificate we need to configure for the secure communication between the device and the Intune. For this, I need to grant the permissions. I grant Microsoft permissions to send both user and device information to Apple. We generate a CSR certificate. So this is certificate uh, signing request that we usually send to grab the certificate. Well, in this CSR, the details of your servers or services are involved based on which the certificates are generated for secure communication. This is a very old uh, school concept. If you have ever retrieved the SSL certificates for your servers, then you must be uh, familiar with this process of submitting the certificate signing request to the certificate authority providers. This is the same thing that we are doing here because this is a cross-platform collaboration we are doing between the iOS iPad platform and the Intune by Microsoft. For this, I'm logging in to the Apple ID. Through my Apple ID, I have uh, signed in. I need to do the multi-factor authentication. So the second factor authentication verification code I have received on my iPhone and the uh, iPad. So this was the certificate that I generated earlier for a session of Microsoft Intune. But in this case, this is a different tenant. So I'm submitting a different request and because I want to show you these steps as well. So it's quite straightforward. You just need to provide details here why you won't need this and then choose that CSR, fi CSR file that was generated. So this is Intune certificate signing request file, CSR file. And I will click upload to upload this file. Once this is done, I will download the certificate to my system, which will be required later on. As you see, this is MDM Microsoft Corporation certificate dot PEM file. I will go back to the configure MDM push certificate and uh, this is where I will provide the details of my Apple ID and uh, then I will provide this certificate. So the push certificate was generated using my Apple ID and uh, Apple MDM push certificate is here. I will click upload for this certificate. The certificate has been uploaded. I'll close this window. The Intune side prerequisite has been completed. Now I will move to the iPad and uh, on the iPad, I will have to install the application, which is Intune company portal application. I will open the Apple App Store and excuse me about these games and the applications you see of my kids. So this is the company portal. 
I will search for and this is Intune company portal app from Microsoft. Well, I go with this and uh, install this application on this iPad. Well, this is a very lightweight agent that you are installing on your Apple devices and uh, this agent will apply all the policies, the configuration policy. So I will sign in here with my work or school account to configure this device and enroll it with the Microsoft Intune and Enter ID. I'm taking that username and the password well the password is visible um, here but that, that's just for testing environment the tenant will be replaced later so next and then I provide this password for the user account Well, now this device has been enrolled and uh, that's what I could see there. Now company portal wants to have the access on this device. This is review privacy information. Now it's uh, downloading the management profile and this management profile will be installed on this Apple device from the settings app from the general configuration where you see the VPN configuration so below VPN you will see the option to install the management profile here it is downloading the management profile I will allow access profile is downloaded I will close this window and will continue to the company portal app will tap the continue button and now this is where I need to go. So the instructions have been provided to the users because it's a self sign in process. I will go to the settings. Under the settings, we will have general settings. So on the left, I will scroll it up. I think we have the settings up there. So yeah, general and under the general on the right side, at the bottom you will find VPN and device management where we have the management profile that has been downloaded and uh, this management profile is to be installed it's asking me the passcode that I'm providing for my device and then I will install this management profile as soon as the management profile is installed you see this is the certificate and this certificate need to be trusted so I trust this certificate on this device and as soon as this management profile is installed and uh, configured the device will be enrolled in Entra ID and uh, so it will be automatically enrolled to Intune as well because the setting is already configured to enroll the devices Entra ID registered or joined devices to Intune automatically. Well, this management profile is now installed. Please stay on this screen while we prepare to check your device.
Well, you see this configuration is now completed and I can see two devices enrolled. And uh, your company is currently managing this iPad and one other device. Let us provide feedback to the application. Good job by Microsoft. Let's see this management profile for details once again. So two device identities are there. Now let us see this device that whether it is enrolled into Microsoft Intune or not. So I'll go to the devices, iOS, iPad OS. It's not yet discovered. Will take few seconds to minutes. If I go to the Entra portal, under the Entra portal, under the devices, if I look for all the devices, here we have all devices, Blade, and on the all devices, it will list all the devices. Earlier we have seen three devices. Now Navneet's iPad is also enrolled into this Entra ID and since it is enrolled to Entra ID, so it will automatically enroll to Intune. So MDM as you see, MDM solution is Microsoft Intune. I will refresh this page to see if the device has been discovered. Not yet, will take some more time. We'll wait for a while. I changed to a different blade or you can wait for some time or refresh the page itself. I'm refreshing it once again and now I can see that one device has been discovered by Intune and the device seems as personal as ownership. This is the OS, iPad OS or iOS device type. In the next video you will see the iOS configuration applied to this device.